5.2b Calculating Markdown An example of a percent decrease is a discount or markdown. A retail price after a markdown may be called a sale price. We can use a bar model to represent the price of an item including the markdown. So here's our bar model. The entire bar is the original price. It's 100% of the price of the item. If we're going to take 25% off, then we're going to remove 0 0.25 multiplied by this original price, P. If this is 100%, when we take off the 25%, the retail sale price is going to be 75% of the original price. We have the original price minus the markdown is equal to the retail sale price. In this lesson, we're going to talk about algebraic expressions and their terms. Terms of an algebraic expression are separated by a plus or a minus sign. So here we have two terms because it's separated by this plus sign. We have one term here and one term here. This is just one term. Here we have a plus sign and a minus sign, so we have one, two, three terms. A clothing store marks down some pants by 15% off the regular selling price. Find the discounted price of the pants that regularly sell for $34 and $42. So there's two different pants. One is normally $34 and the other pair is normally $42. We can use a bar model. We're going to let P equal the regular price of the pants. So that's this entire bar. We're going to take off 15% as 0 0.15 times P, the original regular price. And what's going to remain is P minus 0 0.15 times P. That's the difference between the two bars. It represents the price minus the discount. So we have the original price minus that 15% times P. So if we're working with the $34 pair of pants, we've got the sale price, that retail sale price is going to equal the original price minus the markdown. The original price is 100%. That's 100% of $34, so it's the whole thing. We're going to subtract 15% times that $34 to find what 15% of $34 is. We rewrite the 15% as a decimal as 0 0.15. We multiply it by $34, and we get $5.10. So that's what we're going to take off of the $34. That's the um, dollar amount of the markdown. The sale price is going to be $28.90. Now, this method works, but there's a faster, more efficient method that we can use of multiplying the original price by 85%. 100% minus 15% is 85%. We just multiply the original price by 85%. So we have the retail price is equal to the original price minus the markdown. The markdown is 15%, so we write it as 0 0.15 as a decimal. This is a two-term expression because we have a term here and a term here separated by the minus sign. We can do one whole minus 0 0.15 that's the distributive property. They both have a P, so since we've got 1 minus 15 hundredths, we can do that inside of parentheses. If we distribute the P, we'll have 1P minus 0.15P. See? 1 minus 15 hundredths is 85 hundredths. So we have 85 hundredths P as our expression. So if we have the $34 pair of pants, we're going to multiply 0 0.85 times 34. That's going to give us $28.90. And for the $42 pair of pants, we're going to multiply 0 0.85 times 42. That's going to give us $35.70 for our retail sale price. Our single term expression to find the sale price of an original price item after a 15% markdown is R for the retail sale price, 
is equal to 0.85p. We can find the retail sale price of any original price that has a 15% markdown. The retail sale price, R, is going to equal 0.85 times whatever that original price is. So if we have something that's $79, we can multiply $79 times the 0.85, and we can see after a 15% markdown, it would be $67.15. For a 15% markdown, we could put any original price in here and find the markdown sale price. When multiplying by the 85 hundredths, the 0 0.85, we skip the step of subtraction. Instead of finding 15% of $34 and subtracting that dollar amount from $34, we just find 85% of $34. If you're still a little confused about that, look at this. If we have a $50 item with a 10% markdown, we can do it this way or we can do it this way. So method A would be we have our $50 item times 0 0.10 for the 10% markdown. We find what 10% of $50 is, it's $5. Then we subtract it from the $50, then we get $45. For method B, if it's a 10% markdown, we just find what 90% is of $50 and we multiply the $50 times 90% and we have our $45 right away without having to do this subtraction. So method A's expression would be the retail price is equal to P, that $50, minus whatever 10% of P is. For method B, we just say the retail sale price is 90% of whatever the price is. We're finished with lesson 5.2. We're moving on to 5.3 and learning about applications of percent. Our next lesson is finding an original or final amount. So keep in mind, whether you use method A or method B, you're going to get the answer. But it's very important that you learn the more efficient way, method B, of just multiplying the original amount by the remaining percentage to get that retail sale price. Have a wonderful day. I hope the rest of your day is productive, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.